keeping up with our motto let learning be joy and teaching be pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students here mrs sonal shadoshi from thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college teaching you all geography today for grade 7 chapter 3 tides part 3 in previous parts of the chapter we have done that what is centrifugal force of the earth and how gravitational forces of the sun and the moon causes tides on the earth we have also learned that tides are of two types first according to the height that is high tide and low tide and second one according to the phases of moon that is spring tide and neap tide Today we are going to learn about waves. If you blow air over hot milk or tea while drinking, ripples are generated on the milk or the tea. In the same way, because of the force of the wind, water appears to be moving. The sea water gets pushed by the wind and ripples are generated on the water surface. These are called waves. So what are waves? Waves are caused by the frictional drag of the wind over the water. The sea water gets pushed by the wind and ripples are generated on the water surface are called waves. So the sea water moves up and down or slightly forward and backward due to the waves. The waves bring the energy contained in them to the coast. they break in the shallow waters near the coast large or small waves are formed continuously at the surface of the sea generation of waves is a natural and regularly occurring phenomenon so what is the structure of the wave wave crest it is the highest part of a wave wave trough it is the lowest part of the wave wave height it is the vertical distance between the trough and the crest of a wave wave length it is the horizontal distance between the successive crest of a wave look at this picture you can understand the structure of waves what are crest what is trough what is wave height and what is wave length what is wave period it is the time interval between the passage of successive crest at a stationary point and wave base is the maximum depth to which waves moves the water equal about half of the wave length now types of waves waves can be constructive one or destructive one what are constructive waves Constructive waves are the flat and low in height and have a long wavelength. The strong swash carries material up to the beach, forming a berm. They have a low frequency of between six and eight waves per minute, results in a weak backwash. Now look at the destructive waves. What are destructive waves? They are a large wave height and short wavelength. they have a tall breakers that have a high downward force and a strong backwash their frequency is high with between 13 and 15 waves per minute the strong downward energy helps erode beach material and cliffs the strong backwash results in narrow beach profiles wave velocity it is the speed of the wave velocities of normal ocean waves are about 90 kilometers per hour while tsunami have velocities up to 950 kilometers per hour about as fast as jet airplanes and thus move much more rapidly across ocean basins the velocity of any wave is equal to the wavelength divided by the wave period what is tsunami it is a series of waves 
caused by an earthquake, underwater volcanic eruption, landslide or other abrupt disturbance. If you are under tsunami warning, then first protect yourself from an earthquake. Get to high ground as far inland as possible. Be alert to the sign of tsunami such as a sudden rise or draining of ocean waters. Listen to the emergency info and alerts. Evacuate. Do not wait. And if you are in a boat, go out to sea. How can you identify tsunami? Abnormal ocean activity, a wall of water and an approaching tsunami create a loud roaring sound similar to that of a train or a jet aircraft. If you experience any of this phenomena, don't wait for official evacuation orders. Immediately leave low-lying coastal areas and move to higher ground. So students, today we have done with waves. What are waves? What is the structure of waves? What do you mean by velocity of waves? What do you mean by tsunami? And how can you protect yourself during tsunami? Thank you so much.